A pair of socks and shoes might be Lena Juan Pony's most precious possessions. When they fall apart and she doesn't have the money to replace them, she can't walk the four hours to and from her primary school in Juba. When I can't come to school, I get very upset. I cry for days for my mom to get me socks and shoes. At 17, Pony is older than most of her classmates due to all the interruptions in her schooling. But she's determined to keep learning, and her mother is supportive. Pony works with her selling falafel in the market in the morning, then attends school for three hours in the afternoon. I'm only focusing on ensuring that my mom's efforts are not in vain because sometimes we sleep with empty stomachs. If Pony can simply finish primary school, it'll be an accomplishment most never achieve in South Sudan. UNICEF says less than 10 percent of all children will complete primary school. Getting families to simply enroll their girls also remains an obstacle. Only 35 percent of students in the country are girls. They look at girls uh, as, as bride's price, bride's wealth, as money. So it is more or less useless, meaningless to educate girls. They only look, focus on the boys. Educating the girls is educating the nation. Deputy Headmaster Okot Santos says after South Sudan seceded four years ago, the government made many promises to improve the educational system. There were hopes of a new curriculum, more schools and supplies, and better teacher training. Instead, he says his students have no textbooks, and teachers struggle with dilapidated schools and overcrowded classrooms. UNICEF says the Civil War has already erased the small gains made. For Pony, the battle is personal. Each school day, she's fighting to get an education. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Juba, South Sudan.